Hi there, another one of my Luma Lee mini reviews and today we're looking at the Luma Power Trust Model 2. Flashlight just released um, by Luma Power and by the time you're watching this review it should be available for sale on the Luma Power website www.lumapower.com. First of all um, it is um, one of the tactical type flashlights uh, in the mid-size range and so we'll go ahead and take it out of the box and let's have a good look at it. First of all obviously you have the light, the instructions and the small pack of um, seals and switch boot. We'll leave there for now. The light, um, first of all, let's have a look at the outside of it. Um, this is the Trust Model 2. Turn it around and you can see that. And starting at this end, glow in the dark tail cap, which is the tail is actually flat, so it will candle stand. Um, are there are recesses in here to make it more comfortable for a thumb press. Then we have the anti-roll bezel here and at this side we have the pressed steel clip. The grey anodized body and finally the head of the flashlight which has three knurling rings, a slightly crenellated bezel and the textured reflector together with the uh, XPGR5 emitter down there in the centre of quite a deep little reflector, reflector for such a, a small light. The light is capable of running on anything from 3 volts up to 12 volts, so suitable for use with one 18650 cell, two primary CR123s, two rechargeable 123s at 3 volts each, or you can even use the 3.7 volt 16 340s as well in there to give you the full brightness. Okay, let's go ahead and put some cells in there. First of all, we'll use a 18650 from AW. Uh, positive side in first. There we go. Make sure that lights. It is a cool white LED <clears throat> um, in this one. The tint is very definitely cool white. Um, on the mode it's in at the moment with the head locked into position, it just has the one output which is full, as you can see there, which is approximately 400 emitter lumens and around about 290 out the front lumens. Uh, it's capable of producing this amount of light for up to three hours on one 18650. So that's fantastic output for a great length of time. If we now unscrew the head, just a quarter of a turn, we can now go into the multi modes. As you can see, the beam there on its lowest, medium, and of course, high. No strobe on this one, which I'm quite glad about. Um, I don't tend to like the strobes on uh, my flashlights. Very rarely use them. As far as I'm concerned, a blast of light in the eye at this brightness is just as effective as leaving a strobe on anyway. If we now remove the tail cap, and we're going to use two 16340s at 3.7 volts each. Just to show you, put that back on, tighten up the head to go back into turbo mode and there as you can see, full mode, just loosen off quarter of a turn and we can now go th through the three levels, low, medium and high. Um, as far as the actual levels are concerned, the thing that I do like about the um, Trust 2 model, and it's the same on the Incendio, a lot of people 
um, may have overlooked it in the manual is the tactical lock. At the moment, um, if I unscrew this quarter of a turn, we have the low, medium, and then the high. I'll just go through those again. Low, medium, and then high. There's the high. You can actually lock it so that if you don't want to go through those modes and just keep it on that high mode, all you do is select it, which we're on now, and then press the tail switch momentarily four times in quick succession. One, two, three, four. That has now locked that in. So no matter what I do, even trying to double click to get it to change levels, it's locked in. And to remove that lock, all you do is the same again. Four quick half presses in succession. One, two, three, four. And that will now release it to go back to low, medium, and high. There we go. Low, medium, high. And then obviously twist, lock it shut, to then go to turbo mode, which is the brightest. So running on the 3.7 volt, which we are now, um, you're looking at about 450, uh, 450 emitter lumens, and on low, about 7 emitter lumens, and obviously the, the levels in between. When you're running on the 18650, you're looking at 5 lumens and ramping up into turbo mode at 350 uh, emitter lumens. As far as fit and finish are concerned, the knurling, let's wait for him to grab focus, there we go. The knurling is absolutely excellent. It's uniform, it's nice and sharp, and it's quite deep as well. Then the quality of the anodizing on the barrel, again, is truly, truly superb. In my opinion, the fit and finish of this light is as good as any other that's out there. Even as good as the Surefire anodizing, I really do rate it. Now one thing I will point out, which took a little bit of time for me to realise on the troubleshooting side of things. <clears throat> when you eventually get your light, if you do order one, in the top here is the sprung positive terminal. And when it comes, <clears throat> I'll show you, once I get this little bag open. When you get your flashlight, it has this little white spacer. See this, I'll put it against my black shirt there. There's a little tiny white spacer, which is actually stuck in place like that. And using the AWs or a lot of the 18650s, you can't actually get it to make contact. I thought I had a, a, a faulty light or a faulty cell. But because of the, the way the top is engineered on 1650 um, cells with the positive terminal slightly recessed, with the white cap on, you cannot use 18650s. So you must just use a pair of tweezers or something. It's literally just stuck on with some very fine glue. Just remove that, put your light back together again. 18650 positive up, put the tail cap back on again and you'll find that it works. So there you have it, the Luma Power Trust Model 2.